Welcome everybody to Gas Up the Pacer. This is our weekly roundup. This is our football show. This is our NFL show. Uh, and we got all kinds of NFL foosball to talk about this week. Yeah, they do. So we're going to get right off and running, man. Uh, if you want to follow, well, I'll start off by the introductions if you're new. I'm Armando. That's Lou. If you want to follow us on Twitter, you could follow me at Junior D's. If you want to follow Lou, you can follow Lou at Lou underscore Willard. That's at the bottom of your screen if you're watching on YouTube. If you want to follow us on the gram. You on can Insta? <laughs> on Insta. <laughs> I'm not sure who says the gram and who says Insta. It's guys, know. girls type thing. Yeah, Kids told me I forget. <laughs> so it's at PacerPod, whatever you are. If you want to follow us on the gram or Insta or, or both. If you're LGBTQ, <laughs> it's Instagram. It's apparently... Or if you're old. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> so you could subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, that would be at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Or if you're listening on iTunes or Stitcher or any other podcast catcher, you could subscribe there too. It's a good subscription. And it's free. Free's always good. Free's always good. That's why That's why we zone the YouTubes. We zone YouTube because <laughs> it's free. So let's get into it. Right off the bat, we'll start with the NFL, and my first note, and, and the, the first order of business is Drew Brees and Big Ben go down this week. Ben goes down for the season with what, the is it elbow ligament? It's the, uh, what's the, the UCL, so it's the... What he said. The ACL of the elbow. <laughs> Tommy John. Sure, sure. It's Tommy John. Yes. Uh, I did see on Twitter Tommy John... Tommy John did reach out to Big Ben and asked him if uh, if he needed any advice to give him a call. It's Tommy John. So so hopefully it's not his career. Hopefully not. But I hopefully seen him go out like and that. And he's only what thirty seven. Oh, only thirty seven. He's, he's a football. He's, he's a young. Old. He's a young buck. He's old. He's, he's got three years before he retires. <laughs> That's what his plan was. <laughs> They just signed him to a three-year extension this year. Not anymore, man. That dude looks like, I don't know, he looks like a garbage bag full of chewed-up bubble gum. And this is him in shape. It, exactly. Yeah, he's lost a bunch of weight. Exactly. So, And then Breeze hurt his hand, uh, collided with uh, Aaron Donald, I believe, as he was yeah. throwing the ball last week. He messed up his thumb. He has to have surgery. The initial report was six weeks. I saw a report today that said it could be longer. Uh, I can't. What he did, he's, he tore, he had the surgery, he tore the ligament that attaches the thumb to the index finger. How was that only six weeks? I, on, on his throwing hand. I have no idea. If it had been his offhand, I could see it. Yep. But his throwing hand? <laughs> exactly. This is going to be a long show. You drank a coffee. We're going to be here all night. You know, I got my yup cup. Yup. Yup. I hated that dude on that show. I know. <laughs> yup. Yeah. Okay. Just a, a quick break from football. Me and my wife started watching that Storage Wars. This is probably, I don't know, when was it popular? Ten years ago? Something like that. It was on a marathon weekend. I was like, oh, what's this show? This is interesting. And we watched it all weekend. By the end of the weekend, I was online buying, yep, because my wife loved that fucking dude, buying yep cups and a shirt and yeah. He was on my nerves. I, I watched wrote, it a couple times, and he drove me. I said, I can't watch this. He wrote me in. I liked him because he was just an asshole. Yeah, he, oh, yeah. That's what he's doing. <laughs> he, he didn't want it. He just didn't want you to have it. And if you got it, he wanted you to pay way more than what it was worth. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, the, yep. He was yeah, on my so nerves. If, Matter of fact, I might break your cup. If <laughs> I might break your cup like your dog chew your hats. <laughs> and by the way, I got two new pairs of sneakers. And I, I don't know if anybody knows this. Are I'm, they elevated? Uh, they are now. Um, actually, technically, three new pairs of shoes. I'm an Adidas. For, I love Adidas. Um, even though I think I'm wearing my Under Armour hat yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Um, but three new pairs of sneakers. I've had one, one of two of those pair for like two months. And he hasn't chewed. And I've fallen asleep with them on the ground. I haven't put them up. haven't put them in my closet. Shut the door. Um. And we, we've gone through a few of those nights where he hasn't touched them, so we're good to go. We're good to go. Um, you know who's not good to go? Eli Manning. Eli Manning's <laughs> looking for a um, starting position. <laughs> Eli Manning, um, 
refused to waive his no trade clause as well. So if you didn't know, um, they announced, which is weird. Didn't they just pay Eli? They paid him a couple of years ago, but I mean, he got two Super Bowls there, so he was worth whatever they I'm gave. Not, him. I'm not saying, you know, and I've heard a lot of, of people on ESPN and some other networks that are, are some are like, oh, just classy guy, classy guy. Other guys are like, he sucked five years ago and you should have just got rid of him then. Yeah, um, that's what they should have did, but you, they didn't. But they didn't. Yeah. And, and, and the Mara family paid him because of services rendered. That's, that's exactly <laughs> what it was. That's, that's it. And to be perfectly honest, they could have still paid him and drafted a quarterback to sit under kind of like what Green Bay did with Favre and Aaron Rodgers. Let him sit for three years. But did they do that? No. They brought in guys like, I don't know, Geno Smith. And, <laughs> you know, about Geno Smith. I think they brought him in for, for a minute. Um, but they brought in guys that, that couldn't take the reins, even if they wanted to. Yeah, absolutely. And until now. But here's my point now. I just I think it's a bad move. Because I'm going to ask all three of these teams, Breeze, uh, so the, the Saints, the Steelers, and the Giants, how will their teams do? And here's the short answer for the Giants. Just as bad or worse as they did with Eli. Because it wasn't Eli's fault that they were losing. It, honestly, I don't think it's ever been Eli's fault. No, no, I mean, it wasn't his fault. Yes. Do, did Eli have bad games? Absolutely. Did they lose games that they should have won because of Eli? Absolutely. But over the past five years, the Giants haven't been a bad football team just because of Eli. No. Is he hasn't had a healthy receiving core in two and a half years. There you go. I mean, his only weapon on offense right now is Saquon Barkley. Mm-hmm. That's it. And he wasn't playing bad these first two games. They just didn't win them. Yeah. And now he's out of a job. No, he's been playing well. And to be perfectly honest, Sterling Shepard isn't bad, but he's hurt too now. And when he's forced to beat your one, that's not very that's, good. No, it's terrible. He's a two. So exactly. they don't have a true one since they got rid of Beckham. Yep. Then Beckham was hurt, um, if not most of all last year, a good, part, good portion of last year. Yep. It was a dumpster fire. Absolutely. And they're just trying to have a change into the guard, though. And, this, and this, I think we'll, I just we'll think it's this the, kid got. I just think it's the wrong time to do it. It's absolutely the wrong time to just, do it. You, you could have waited until the bye week. Just wait till the bye week. What's the, what's the problem of just sticking with Eli and letting the young kid learn? What's I don't know well, what the issue was with that. From the from the coaching standpoint, is yeah, we can try that, but if we don't win, we may not be here. That's what's going. The coach has not been assured that his spot is there next year. So this is the coach trying to save his job. This is what I call. This is where I call bullshit because we've talked about this a million times. Coaches make these moves early because mm-hmm. they're trying to save their jobs. You know what good coaches do? This is what this is the right move. This is what we should do. Screw my job. I mean, I know you can't think like that, but you got to think like that. If that's the right move, then that's the right move. Don't make the move early because, ooh, it might save my job. Because I can go into the end of the year. You'll get another job. You know how many retreads are in the NFL? You'll <laughs> get only another, one or two. You'll get another For shot. <laughs> you'll get a shot as a, as a coordinator, as a head coach. As, I mean, you get at least seven shots at, at a head coaching gig. So... What are yeah. you worried about? It's not like, you know, I, I know the, 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 the saying is you get hired to get fired. You're hired to get fired as a head coach, and that is true. But in the NFL, hell, in any of the major sports, the head coaches that get fired always hook up with another team. It yeah. ain't like if you get fired, you never got to work again. You, you got to go on food stamps. Yeah, you bagging groceries. So make the call. Like you wouldn't make the call. Stop hiding behind, well, you know, I don't know if we're going to be here. Well, who gives a shit? How about you just do what's right for the team instead well, of, well, it gives me an excuse at the end of the year, so maybe I can get a one-year extension. And if they put this, uh, now that they put the kid in, our young man in, did they give him any more weapons? No. Or is he going in with the same weapons you it's just said? <laughs> well, and that's why I say it's the, it's the bad move. Let the kid, it's, the same, yeah. it's the same as within, we'll get to Miami. It's the same as down in Miami. You, do you start Rosen? Hell no. Because he's gonna get killed, and I let think they Fitz, are. I let, think they start me. I, I have issues with that as well. Let him sit. Let Fitzpatrick take the blows. 
And listen, if I'm if I'm a if Giants ownership, I love Eli Manning. But let's face it, he's on the back nine. He might be on the 17th hole of his career. How about we just let him take the blows and save the young kids so he can just learn? Because if it's a bad year, you get a high draft pick, you can get you an offensive tackle. There you go. A left tackle. There you get go. Get his blind side and let him play next year. And you kind of tell Eli, we need you to announce your retirement. Yes. Yeah, that's why we, listen, we'll honor your contract. Yep. Because you did get us two Super Bowls. That's what it's all about. I don't care how long ago they were. You, you got them. So like you said, we'll pay you for services rendered. That's it. But I need you because I love you. I need you to walk away because I hate to have to release you. But that's where we are. It's just, it's not a good look for anybody involved. And you know what? That's just it. help us out. Just walk away. You know how many players do that? You know how many coaches do that at because, the end of their career? Because he's helping them out because he won't waive his uh, no trade clause. Yeah. He won't waive it. So he's helping them out in case this kid gets hurt or he just completely flops. Eli wouldn't go back in the game and do what he do. Yeah. And he has that low in New York. So, I mean, these kids are, they're now, I know people get tired of kids, oh, they can move me all that money. Man, the kids are solidified in school and everything. They don't want to move. He don't want to move his family. Yeah. Why would he? There's so much money for Eli once he retires from football in New York. Why would he go play anywhere else? Dude, him and his brother are set for life. Set? I mean, so why would he go play anywhere else? I Granted. It worked out for Peyton, but Eli ain't Peyton. Yeah. And there's no mistake in that he is not Peyton. Well, let me ask you this. With, with, with all three of these guys, with, with Breeze and Ben with the injuries, Eli Manning getting benched, um, how will the teams do? The Giants are going to do just as good as they were going to do with Eli. I agree with that. I mean, and you'll see that when we get to the picks. I still pick the Giants this week plus the points. I would have picked them if Eli was playing because it's not the quarterback's fault. They'll stay in the game. Stillers, here you go. You got Minka Fitzpatrick. See, this is the difference in organizations. People, oh, well, Pittsburgh's going to pack it in. No, they went and got them a starting DB. Yeah. They, 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 they doubled down. They're, they're, you're right. They're not, they're not packing it in. They are doubling down. But, I, and, and I, but I'm going to tell you why they're doubling down. I still see them at 8-8. Eight and eight. But what did you see them at before? You had them at 10-6, and six, I believe. Yeah, I did. That's only two games when you lost a first ballot Hall of Famer and going with a second-year quarterback. Mm -hmm. That's not much of a drop-off. Yeah, and I mean, I, I, that being said, I haven't seen enough out of the young kid. And But here's the kicker. He's the kid I wanted to draft when he came out. Yep. When they took him, I told all y'all, hey, they finally took a guy I want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, because he can play. He got taken what, second or third round? Second round. Second round. And he can play. Yeah. Now, here's the kicker. We all thought, being Stiller fans, that he'd be the quarterback next year anyway because we thought this would be Ben's last year. So next year, this year, what year, what, it, what difference do it make? Yeah. Hey, hey, cousin, you up. Well, and he's already had a year to sit. He's had a year to sit and watch. And he's learn. Got and Not if it was Josh Dobbs, I'd be over here looking like a crackhead, <laughs> chewing on my pen and everything. I'd be all stressed out because I didn't like Dobbs. Yeah. This kid I'm not very worried about. And he has – the weapons, and he has James Washington, who he played with in college. Yeah. So you'll see him get more time. It'll work. What's got to work for them is the damn defense. Got to stop somebody. Somebody. If they got, they got to. Minka Fitzpatrick has to work, and then that'll give you Minkins and Edmonds, Hayden and Nelson on the corners, and and Bush will catch up. I mean, the teams are picking on him. It's early though. Yeah. It's only his second game. Now this is third, but I think they'll be fine. And I think, and and we'll transition right into into the Dolphins. Uh, because I've heard a lot of stuff, obviously, uh, being a Dolphins fan. And everybody knowing that I'm a Dolphins fan. And I've seen the whole, all the memes. And uh, where, the, where the Dolphin left the logo, that was just hurtful. Yeah. I, I teared up a little bit. I said, damn, the Dolphin left I'm the logo. Out. I'm a head out. Aight, I'm out. <laughs> Aight, I'm a head out. So, I've seen them all. And, and you know what? Five years ago, that would have bothered me. I don't, I don't care. And you know what bothers me even more are the Dolphins fans that are really pissed about it. And I've, I've, I've put this into perspective because I actually think in the Minka Fitzpatrick trade, both teams got what they wanted. Yeah. Okay. Minka didn't want to be not, there. Now you'll figure out who won by the way he played and who they draft. Exactly. So, yeah. so I, I think both teams won right now. Yeah. I mean, shit, Miami's got five picks in, in the first two rounds next season. 
in the in the next draft. You got five starters. I mean, if you don't you, miss, you better have five yeah, starters. You better have five that. starters. I mean, you're gonna be really young, but so, you better have five starters. I'm I'm going to I'm I'm gonna say what I have to say, and then I got a question at the end. But three years ago, it was two or three years ago. You and I were talking. It was when they brought in Dominic and Sue, and they made some moves. And you said at least they have a plan. It looks like they have a plan, and it looks like they're going to stick to this plan. And let's see what happens. What happened? They went to the playoffs. Ryan Tannehill got hurt three games before the playoffs. They got bounced by the Steelers, yeah. and, and 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 good. And that's it. The one playoff appearance, and a, and a blowout loss. And they but they folded the plan and, and fired the coach. Well, that's the other issue. So. You you had the plan. Now they did give the coach four years. Yeah. And the plan didn't seem to be working anymore. And people are bitching about the dog. Oh, they're tanking the season. I I've, I've shared with you my feelings on that. You can't force players to tank. Now what you can do is put a bunch of you and me's out there. And yes, they're tanking the season. The yeah. players aren't tanking. Doing the best you can. It's just not very good. Exactly. But. In my in my estimation, in my eyes, I see what they're doing. Okay. Oh, I absolutely see what they're doing. And it looks like they have a plan. They have a plan. So twice in the past twenty years, you've had a plan. I'm willing to bank on that plan in the hopes that it works. Am I upset about any of these any of these first two losses that that they're what, 102 to 10 they've been outscored? 110 to 10, but I'm not picking splitting hairs. It says 102. No, 59 and 43. What? 102. 102. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, oh, y'all scored 10. Yes. Y'all scored 10. Okay, that's where the 10 comes in. There you go. I knew somebody had 10. 102 to 10. Okay. They've, they've been outscored. All right. And... <laughs> Have I been upset during either of those? A, no, because last week I had half the damn Patriots team in fantasy football, so I was rooting against the Dolphins, so I didn't even give a shit. But I know they got a plan. I'm looking at that plan and go, man, if they don't miss on these draft picks in in two years, this is going to be a good-ass team. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. You... Like when everybody was coming at me, oh, Pittsburgh got beat 33-3, to rah, 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 by the Patriots. I said, would you rather uh, score four more touchdowns and lose 33-31? A loss is a loss. Oh. Now, here's the difference in, in that with the Dolphins. You didn't want them losing to the Ravens 33-30. to You didn't want them losing, who was it, the Patriots? Yeah. 28-24. Because they might change the plan and think they got hope. Exactly. No, you need them <laughs> to get their ass kicked this week by the Cowboys yep. and whoever the hell else they play next week. Agreed. And then that way they can continue on with the plan. Well, we got the Cowboys this week, and then the, it's the bye. Which, that's why I think they should hold on to start in Rosen. I don't think Rosen should start. No, he shouldn't. Start, listen, Rosen's gotten some cleanup time in the fourth quarter when they've been down by 85 points. And no one's going to hit him really hard. It, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so, I mean, unless you're playing the Patriots, because they all still had their ones in all the way into the end of the game. So, But whatever, that's that's <laughs> that's just what they do. Uh, um, I did, mm, taste a little bitter. But my question to you, it's not bitter. You only dress 46 people. How many more different people are they putting in? Listen, you could, you could put in a second stringer or two. Who's, who's, the, who's the backup quarterback in New England? That's what New England want to know. They're like, we don't have one. Exactly. So you, know, you, know, you know why you don't know? Because Tom Brady played all four fucking quarters. <laughs> <laughs> he said he getting paid to perform a service. Now, I'm not upset about it because Tom Brady... Scored me a bunch of points last week, so we're good. But, uh, well, what's going on what over there? That? Oh, got your phone oh, talking we got, to you. We got Siri, see the government, listen to everything. Then, we all looking around like, ain't this a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> and here it is, ain't nobody but the government. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our first guest, Siri. Um, <laughs> we got a live guest in the studio, <laughs> dipping, dipping all in the conversation. But, my, my whole thing with this, and here's my question. I guess, it, all in all, this is my question about the Dolphins. Are the Dolphins the worst team in NFL history? Because I've heard it probably two dozen times over the past week. I don't think so. I think in the 70s? It, it's only, was, it, was it the 70s or the early 80s? The Aints? Well, the New Orleans yeah, Saints. the Aints went 2-14. and 14. 
the Browns went 0 16. The Lions went 0 16. I don't give a damn what the Ooh, scores that, was. I forgot about the Lions, Steve. They were yeah. bad. And I don't care what the scores were in some what, of those games. What about the Buccaneers? That's what I'm saying. Buccaneers in, when they were still wearing the orange sickle yeah. colors. 81 ish. 82. Yeah, somewhere there. 0 and 16. Um, those were the McKay years. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. They went 0 and 14. 0 and 14. Yeah. Then the uh, Lions and the Browns go 0 and 16. Until they go 0 and 16, no. Because I don't give a damn. Yeah, that year the Browns should have beat the Chargers and blew it in the last three seconds. I don't give a damn. You 0 and 16 again. 33 31, 33 3. A yeah. loss, a loss, a win is a win. That's why when people talk about the Browns celebrating like they won a Super Bowl Monday night, yeah, it's overkill. Oh, Jets didn't have a quarterback. Listen, Cleveland don't give a damn. If you got it, that ain't their problem. It ain't the 49ers problem that Ben ain't playing. I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a problem with the players. Have a problem you'll, with you'll, exactly. You'll, you'll, you'll hear it in the weekly awards that we do. <laughs> but I have a problem with the fans. Exactly. Same that's, problem I got. We'll, we'll, we'll save that for another show. But. Yeah, I, I've just – listen, I've watched the first two weeks of the Dolphins as much as I could. I actually yeah. watched almost the full game last week because – because you love them. It's because because I had the Patriots <laughs> defense. Exactly. I had Antonio Brown. I had Tom Brady. I just said, you know what, guys? Go play. Have fun. Go have a catch. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I'm, it was – let me say this. The defense – isn't 102 points against bad. No. The defense the whole game. was on the field the entire game. Yeah. And they played the first two games at home, which means, just to let anybody know, Miami, it's still like 105 degrees down there in September. Okay? So let's just get – when you're out on the field for three quarters of the game, the first – Five possessions Miami had were three and out. You got Ryan Fitzpatrick throwing pick sixes and, okay, sure. But when you're on the field for three quarters, whether you're on offense or defense, I'm surprised the Patriots didn't just take a knee in the third quarter because they were just like, they were just like, I'm tired. I just. They weren't tired, though. They just doing, they just (laughs) seven on seven to them. I mean, whoo. But. The, the the defense wasn't horrible. You had some missed tackles, and well, you're going to have that. The game but is when 60 minutes, and when your time of possession is 17, yeah, you're not beating any. Matter of fact, not only are you not winning, you're getting blown out. Yeah. Because you only had the ball 17 minutes. Or I, well, I'm not sure what they had, it, but it can't be much more than that. No, it wasn't much more than that, to be perfectly honest. But – yeah, so do I think they're the worst team in NFL history? Uh, not, no. Not even close. Um, but we'll see. Because if they do go 0-16, they'll be in the conversation. Well, no, that's totally different. <laughs> and then also, I mean, let's think, let's let's just be honest. I could think of two teams they'd rather play than the Ravens and the and the uh to start the, the Patriots season. to start the season. Well, you got the Ravens, the Patriots, and the Cowboys to start the season. Yeah. I mean, Kim, okay, what about the Ravens? They had Miami and Arizona. You find out if they for real this week because they actually play the Chiefs. Yeah, you know Pittsburgh. Everybody, oh, they're zero two. Well, it was the Patriots and the Seahawks. It wasn't like it was the again the Dolphins and the Cardinals. They're yeah. not being panic mode. But no, nah. yeah. All right. I mean, look at the Redskins. Redskins had a tough one. Quiet tough one. Yeah. Eagles and Dallas. Yep, that's tough. Well, let me ask you this: uh, as far as uh, defense, we were talking about defense. Jalen Ramsey, he had the whole blow up on the sideline with Doug Marone, which it's Doug Marone. Of course you're going to not like what Doug Marone's doing. There's not a lot of people that are in Doug Marone's side, outside of his family. Yeah. You know, but he Jalen Ramsey wants out. He wants traded. The Jags are saying they will trade him. I've heard there's five teams interested. Where do you think he lands? Well, I think he – well, he wants to go to Seattle because of uh, – I'm sorry, the Chargers because him and Derwin James are really good friends. Yeah. If I'm Kansas City Chiefs, and I discussed this earlier, if I'm the Kansas City Chiefs – I make a run and a half at that dude. I'm calling up the Jaguars or so on because this is – they call these windows to win Super Bowls. Yes. The Chiefs is wide open. 
only one thing in their way. However you felt about Pittsburgh Saturday night, last Saturday night, yeah, you would still consider Pittsburgh a thorn in their side because they have trouble beating them. They have trouble beating Pittsburgh in the playoffs. Only thing in their way is New England. That's it. Well, if I can go get a corner to guard Antonio Brown, because he shut Antonio Brown down as much as Antonio Brown has went off on him in games. Because I've seen all of those games. Yeah. He had Antonio Brown on lock in a regular season game. Then in the playoff game, Antonio Brown got him back. I mean, it was so it's that's a great matchup. I'm calling going, I'll give you a one and a three next year if you can get him here by I don't know tonight. Because we need him. Yeah. Because they're not playing to beat the well, you want to beat the Ravens, but you all you all you NFL smart guys will understand when I say they're not playing to beat the Ravens. They are playing. No, they're playing if to you're beat in them. the N F and L, you are playing to beat the Patriots. Absolutely. There's been six championships come through New England since two thousand. That's who you're playing to beat. What's it going to take? Somebody got to guard Antonio Brown. Yeah. Because you still got Josh Gordon. That's where your second corner got to go. So you better get the best guy out there, and the best guy out there is Jalen Ramsey. He wants to win a championship. He th- he knows he can help you get there. I think Dallas needs to make a serious run at him, too. Yeah, absolutely. But I think Dallas can get there faster without him than the Chiefs can. I think Dallas', Dallas defense Dallas, is better than Dallas, the Kansas City Chiefs defense. I'll agree with that. Um, Dallas has looked good this season, and, too. And Dallas can beat the Rams. They played with them in L.A. in that playoff game. That defense didn't let them down. Their offense did. Yeah. You know, they've proven they can go to New Orleans and, and put a game up. So, and now New Orleans, whether Breeze comes back or not, it's iffy. Yeah. So that, that the you know, and the Eagles are in division. So you know they can play with the Eagles. But the Kansas City Chiefs have got to beat the Patriots. If he goes there, look out. I agree. That'll be a hell of a game if you go there. I'm kind of, and, and, and there's been a lot of talk and a lot of discussion about the NFL's turning into the NBA and the players dictate where they want to go. And yeah. There's been two. Two instances. For years, since I was a kid, you've seen people, I'm not happy here, I want to trade. And then they get traded. Whether it's that season or the following yeah. season or whatever. And it's typically not where they want to go. <laughs> exactly. They force themselves out. Yeah. But... The, the conversation and the way it's gone, like, oh, it's the NBA. It's the Wild West. You know, do you know where the NBA's ratings are right now? They're through the roof. People, fans, love the NBA. And be, because of those things, because it's, it's a player's league. And I'll be honest, the NFL, since I was a kid, it, it's like they, it, it's, it's oppression. I get it. They're millionaires and whatever. But... It's like, no. Like, think about the, at the NFL back in the 70s. You signed this contract with my team, and you're here until you fucking damn well die. Yeah. That was the contract, and it was written in blood. Yeah, there's, there's just so much in, that goes into this to me is, number one, there's no loyalty player to the team or team to the player, which is fine. It shouldn't be, because if you look at because it like... Because it's a business. If you look at it like everybody else, if, if somebody out there is a plumber, and he's That's plumbing, what, yeah. doing his thing... And another plumbing company comes to him and says, hey, I'll give you like five more dollars an See, hour because you're good at your job and you, you, you have a lot of experience. That's, that's true. He will bounce and go. But one of the most controversial things, I've said a lot of controversial things on this show. No. Allegedly, I've been accused of it. Well, here's something else controversial. Winners are winners and losers are losers every fucking time. Okay? Are you loser shaming? <laughs> No, they are. I am telling you, the NFL wants parody. Parody yes. can kiss my ass. Parody is boring. Yes. There's no parody in no. college football. Everybody at 8 and 8 sucks. There is. Listen, parody sucks. They say, well, the NBA in the 80s. No, it was Boston, the Lakers, and then Detroit and the Bulls. That's, that's, that's not parody. Mm-hmm. There were 20-something teams. There's still only about five NBA teams that can win the whole thing now. There's 30 teams. Yep. In the NFL, they want parity, but the, realistically, there, is, there has never been. There might parody. be four teams that can win the title. There has never been parity in the NFL as much it, as they want it. Here's the exactly. problem. Here's the thing: you have four or five at the top, the, all all the the haves, guys that know what they're doing, 
and then everybody else, let's let's call it, okay, what's four? You got 28 other teams. Out of those 28 other teams that are the bottom feeders, 20, let's call it 27 of them are mediocre, and then you got three bad teams at the bottom. That's that's the way it works. It's been like that. It will be like that. It will always be and, like and, that. And I don't have a problem with it. And that people, well, yeah, you root for the Steelers. Yeah, I have since the seventies. Well, that's when they start winning. Well, motherfucker, that's when I was born. Yeah. At least I've been consistent. <laughs> I've been there through the eighties. Exactly. I'm also a diehard Detroit Tigers fan. Dead last in baseball. Mm-hmm. Diehard Detroit Pistons fan will never in my lifetime win another NBA title. Yeah. Because of said parody, but I won't miss a Laker Golden State game. Not with AD, LeBron, and the Splash Brothers. Yeah. They don't, they don't my teams. Yeah, exactly. But I like the competition. I, I mean, love it. If you don't like it, your team need to make some adjustments. Quit bitching and crying about New England. Absolutely. They going to get football players, and if they dominate you, then you get better. Don't don't Absolutely. drop back to the pack for anybody. And then, God forbid, you trade away to get some draft picks, and and you're tanking the season. And uh, I forget who it was. Uh, one of the former presidents of the NFLPA. It's a it's a it's a disgrace to the game what Miami's doing. And you know what? At least they have a plan. You know what they say this is too. If you're looking at the show, it's the world's smallest violin. <laughs> it's playing Who just gives for a you. Damn? Quit crying. <laughs> it's 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 a plan. You know what? You know what the the Browns' plan was for the the past what twenty years since they've been back. I don't know. Neither do they. That's what I was going to say. That was the plan. Neither they, do they. They haven't had a plan. It almost feels like they backed into this plan where they got all these players, they got these high draft picks, but it, they got it the took right them, GM. It took draft after draft after draft and the hiring to put of the this, right GM. Yeah, to to, to draft those to players even, to even give them a chance to get them. And then when they brought OBJ and Jarvis Landry, and it was like, okay, we we can put these pieces in, and with our draft picks, ta da! At least we got a it, shot. At least at least on paper, it looks like we got a good team. Yeah. So let's go out there and see what we can do. In Miami, th- b- before the trades. So you don't want them to make any trades. Okay, great. Before the trades, they had a dog shit team. You just want them to play a dog shit team and then out there tanking. and then have one pick? Well, then they'll say they're tanking because they're not making any trades. They make the trades. You can't win. Tanking. You can't win either way. You can't, so. can't win for losing. I'm telling you. It, it's, it's crazy, man. Don't nobody want to see. I had a guy ask me earlier today, so what do you think the Chiefs are willing to give up if they if they don't go get or if they go get Ramsey, I said, well, if they don't go give it, he giving up a Super Bowl trophy. Yeah, absolutely. So what's that worth to you? I mean, is it worth is it worth a first round draft pick next year? Th- making a first and third uh, of a right. of a of what a middle linebacker, an yeah. outside linebacker that you're going to take. And and got to remember where you're going to finish at. Those picks aren't very high, so it's <laughs> not like you're losing a top five pick. Exactly. You, you you're know, gonna you're gonna be picking at twenty eight, twenty nine. It, yeah, between twenty eight and thirty two, yep. and third round puts you somewhere around ninety five to hundred uh-huh. to get Jalen Ramsey. Exactly, and he will act right when he leave. He'll act right because he he'll go somewhere he know he can win. He know he can no longer win in Jacksonville. Exactly. So let's get into fantasy football because you know that's what makes the world go round. I don't think they play. That's the reason they're playing on Sundays. So. You won. You're what two and zero now? Yeah, that, we've only played <laughs> two you. games, right? Look at you. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah. Whatever week we at, just know I'm that record. And I'm I'm gonna throw it out there, uh, in our, in our league, and I know nobody gives a shit about how we're doing, uh, and what our league is, but in our league, ooh, I think me and you are the uh, two high scoring teams in the league. Just just kind of running away with things, but a little bit, a little bit. But mm-hmm. I didn't want to talk about us the whole time, so. How about we talk about you have if you're if you're unlucky enough to have Breeze and Roethlisberger on your roster, <laughs> like some people we know, Corey, you're gonna need a quarterback going into this week. Y'all got any more of them uh, quarterbacks? Hey, hey, I need that quarterback. You got a quarterback on there? Huh? Can I get you? Can I get a quarterback from you? <laughs> Just one, man. Just one. Yo, I'm hurting over here. Yo, I need like 16 points. I need 16 <laughs> points this week. <laughs> So, I'm looking at just our league, and I'm looking at the um, the quarterbacks that are on waivers that are out there, free agents. Mm. And right now, if you let's just say you you had bad luck, you drafted both Breeze and Roethlisberger. You have. I'm just going to name a few: Trubisky, 
Kirk Cousins, Derek Carr, Jacoby Brissett, Daniel Jones, Mason Rudolph, Case Keenum? Question mark. <laughs> and then after that, you listen. You got Sam Darnold, who is guaranteed zero points because he's got mono, and Teddy Bridgewater's after him because they don't even know who the starter is down in in, no. in New Orleans right won't, now. Won't name a starter yet. Andrew Luck retired. We'll cross him off the list then. <laughs> <laughs> And he's on this damn list. <laughs> Andrew Luck. Oh, I, w- I always like to see, like, okay, come on now. So My man Gardner Minshew was on there. Played there, a night. He played the, a night. Corey, he played a night. In 5% of leagues, Andrew Luck is owned. In 3% of leagues, he's a starter. <laughs> you, know, you know that son of a bitch paid for that league and then went, yeah, I'm out. I'm done. I don't want to do this. Oh god. We we we've had a we've had a couple of guys in our league do that <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in the yeah. past. Yeah, I need to play them back to back weeks when, here when we first started because they're gonna start taking losses too. But yeah, so anybody on that list jump out to you? No, I mean if you're gonna, here's the problem. If you're gonna take a flyer, because these other guys have been out there. So if you yeah. wanted them, you would have got them. If you're gonna take a flyer, you're going Daniel I'm Jones not- or Mason Rudolph and the. I don't flag, know. I'll flag. I mean, you might have to play matchups until Breeze gets back. You might have to just like this week. I'd take Kirk Cousins against Oakland at home versus Oakland. I'd take him. Uh, it's, oh. You know what I mean? I mean, it's a little rough. It's a little rough, but the, Jacoby Brissett. Uh, Jacoby Brissett could be a thing. He's he, he keeps putting up numbers, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The, uh, it, those would be the only two that I would throw out there: Jacoby Brissett or Kirk Cousins. And then I'm washing my hands of the rest. Yeah, I mean that's that's. Uh, 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 I'm glad I have who I have. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, let's let's go over. Let's just take a look at the at overall flex positions. Because listen, if you don't have a starter, a running back, or wide receiver, you're kind of screwed at this point. Now I'm screwed at tight end because David Njoku is is out. For, yeah, yeah. He has all kinds of shit. He had a concussion. He yeah. fucked up his wrist. He got hurt first game. Got knocked out the second <laughs> game. So um, there there aren't many guys on here. Like I wrote down in our notes, who are the best of the best pickups moving into week three? And I'll be honest, p- Slim Pickens. There is one guy. And I'll say if, if you have if you have the roster space for him, DJ Chark from and I know you don't like Jacksonville wide receivers, but the the new kid in Jacksonville, he likes DJ Chark. Well, I would pick up Gardner Minshew before I picked up one of them quarterbacks you named. At yeah. least this, this fool don't know anybody. They're gonna chunk it around. Exactly. And DJ Chark is one of those guys that he likes to throw the ball to. So. What the hell? Might as well. You yeah, know what and I mean? And how much time you got? I mean, how, how deep of a hole are you in? Because yeah. Golden State to be if a, you're, or Golden State. Golden Tate would be a good pickup. Golden Tate. Uh, Will Fuller, uh, like in ours. Will Fuller is is still available in like 25% of ESPN leagues. Yeah, I tried him. I just sent him back down. Yeah, he, he, sent, he yeah. sent him back down to the minors. Sent him back down. <laughs> Play a little triple-A ball. <laughs> Robbie Anderson. Would be a good. I, I mean, I dropped Robbie Anderson just because he doesn't have a quarterback. Yeah, that's a quarterback. But uh, again, D.D. Westbrook is still out there. Guys like Corey Davis, uh, Marquez Valdez Scandling. Um, those guys. Th- these guys aren't going to win you the game, but they'll get you six, seven points. Get the zero out of the point column. Exactly. I that's mean, your. That's your main thing. Get a so, crooked number up there. And this is my question to you. If we're two weeks into the season, we're going into week three. If you start out, started off 0-2, neither one of us are 0-2, but had you Leading started off 0-2. Leading the league in points. Do you start trading yet? First off, there's two different kinds of 0-2. There's Pakistani Steve 0-2, where you just go, I just played the guy that scored the most points, and then the guy that scored the third most points. So I scored the fourth most and the second most. Yeah. I'm not changing anything. And then there's Bill. I think Bill's pretty bad the first two weeks. Well, was it Bill that was pretty bad? Somebody was somebody put up 
So shit for points the first two weeks. Zig is zero and two right now. Okay. Then we was a zig. Somebody put up shit for points the yeah, first two weeks. Dude. I don't, let, let me let me take a look at, at points four. Let's uh, yeah, you're in fir- you're in first. I'm in second as far as points four. But uh, yeah, well, it well, could, it could, be, it could because... be Bill. It could be Bill and Zig because they're only eleven points apart, sitting at the bottom of this league. Yes, yeah, because I, I had to score the most because I've had the third most scored against me. So uh, that worked out okay. Yeah, but yeah, like if you're them. I don't know if you trade because who do you have that anybody wants? You can't score points. True. So th- that they're gonna have to give up way more than they get, and and guy and guys don't want to do that in fantasy football. So true. But if you have, let, let's just say I I just I just pulled up Zig's roster just so we could have like a sample of what I mean. He's got an Elvin Kamara. Do you trade an Elvin Kamara for two upgrades, like an okay running back and then an upgrade at wide receiver? So you're not losing points. Well, you at, have, yeah, you have to get a star you, you back. Have, you have to do something like that yeah. so that you're not just scoring zero or two or three at certain at yeah. certain levels. But no, you're right. If you are 0-2 and, and you're starting at 0-2 and, and you're not scoring any points, it's going to be hard for anybody to accept the trade. Yeah, I, I just I, I look at his squad, though, and I'm like the old R&B song. Where did it go wrong? <laughs> because I got a lot of these guys. <laughs> In my other league, and I'm winning. Yeah. I mean, I don't have golf. I got, I think it might be Brady. Yeah. and uh, But I have Kamara, Julio Jones, Mike. I got some of the same damn guys, but I'm with matchups. Yeah. The matchups are crazy, man. The yeah. matchups will kill you in this game. Oh, but absolutely. I mean, if I'm Zig, I'm not trading this team. I get rid of David Montgomery as fast as I can, but you just have to pick somebody up on the wire. Exactly. Well, he's got Mark Ingram. Put him in there and then play Carlos Hyde. Play somebody. May, might as well. Yeah, he, but, but David Montgomery's not going to get it because the Bears have no idea what they want to do on, on offense. I thought the Bears were going to be a lot better than they are. Well, they could be once they decide to get a plan. Yeah, exactly. Like a plan talk, will work. Talk about having no plan. Well, let's move over. Let's do our, our picks of the week. Our picks against the spread. And our week two record, not great. Uh, you were five and eleven. I was seven and nine. Yeah, I threw a couple games there. I, I <laughs> on even, purpose, though, right? Well, yeah, I threw one. I knew the Jets. I mean, I didn't switch the Jets after we <laughs> knew the quarterback was kissing that girl and got mono. I still kept the Jets, but that's the only one. Other than that, I'm just trying to get a league of change right now. I thought we knew we had mono last week when we made these picks. I'm just throwing. Oh that no, out we there. did, and I kept the Jets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, season record, you are twelve and twenty. Yeah, oh, I'll be I'll be above five hundred. I am week. fifteen and seventeen. So let's do this. What about your uh, fifteen and seventeen? Two games <laughs> below five hundred. First off, sir, I don't appreciate the look. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start off Thursday night tonight's game: uh, Tennessee Titans at the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jags are plus one and a half. Pass. I am taking the Jags. We got to pick every game. We got to pick every game. Give me the home team. Give me the Jags. All right. And the only reason is because give me the home team. That's it. Uh, Sunday's games. Raiders at Vikings. Vikings are minus nine. I'm taking the Vikings. You got the Vikings. I got the Raiders. They'll lose, but they won't lose. They won't get blown out. I think they will. I took the Jags in the the first game, too. Yeah, I got them on there. So, Bengals at Bills. Bills Mafia. You know who I got. Uh, <laughs> the Bills. Uh, I got the Bills. Absolutely, minus we got the Bills. I got the Bills. Nobody circles the wagons like the 10 and 6 Buffalo Bills. <laughs> the Lions at the Eagles. I got the Eagles minus 6.5. Yeah, hey, I got the Eagles myself. Uh, Ravens at the Chiefs. Chiefs are minus 6.5, and, and I got the Chiefs. I got the Ravens. Sure about that? I'm 100 percent positive. I mean, you know, you only won five games last week. Right? Okay. <laughs> I went five good. on this front page. Okay. Oh, there's only five on the page, guys. <laughs> Jets at the Patriots. Patriots, 23 <laughs> point favorites. Ew, and I'm taking, <laughs> I'm taking the, the Patriots. Patriots. Yeah, I'm taking the Patriots. <laughs> and oh, back to back, boys. I think this is the first time in NFL history. There have been two teams at 20-point favorites 
like in the same week. This is Miami's second week in a row being at least a 20 point dog. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Miami at the Cowboys. The Cowboys are minus 21 and a half, and I'm taking the boys. I'm taking the Cowboys. Oh. oh. Uh, the Broncos at the Packers. Packers oh. are minus seven and a half, and I'm taking the pack. I got the Broncos. Another close game that Broncos been in these games. All right. Falcons at the Colts. Colts are minus one and a half, and I'm taking the Falcons. I'm taking the Colts. I got a lot. Dude, somebody's a having a good week, and yeah. somebody's having a bad yeah, I told, week. Yeah, I told you I'll be above 500 when we come <laughs> back in here next week. You're doubling down on that 5-11, and 11, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> no, I ain't. Every time I take the Falcons, they get blowed out. The Giants at the Buccaneers. Buccaneers are uh, minus six and a half. This is another different one. I'm taking, a, I'm taking the Bucks. I'm taking the Giants. <laughs> this is another different one. I was taking the Giants before. Yeah, I would have taken the Giants with Eli. I'm going to take them with the gunslinger. I'm good. Because Winston turned the ball over a lot at home. We'll take. Uh, we'll go Panthers at Cardinals. Cardinals are minus two and a half. And pass. I'm, I'm going cards. We can't pass a game. No, not one. Well, give me the Cardinals. I'm telling you right now. Because I don't even think Cam's going to play. I, remember we was talking about Cam, his health? He don't look he good. He's banged up. He don't look good. He might retire. I, I, he might not have a choice. Because that's what I'm he, saying. Because he is that banged up. Yeah. Saints at the Seahawks. Seahawks are minus four and a half, and I'm, I'm going, going with the Hawks. Yeah, I'm going Seahawks on that one. Um, Steelers at the 49ers. Here's another different one. Minus six and a half, and I'm going Niners. I'm going Steelers. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Texans at the Chargers. Uh, Chargers are minus three. I'm going Texans. I'm, go I'm going Chargers on that one. <laughs> Somebody is not having Dude, a good day. Listen, you're going to come crashing back to earth. It's <laughs> correct. How can you be that bad in one week? I know because I was just that bad. Rams at the Browns. Browns are plus three, and I'm taking the Rams. I'm taking the Rams. I'll give you the Browns in 13, and I'm taking the Rams. <laughs> the Bears at the Redskins Monday night. Here's another. Di- no, Red- this might be the same. Redskins. Plus four. I got the skins. I'm taking the Bears. Yeah, this is good. This is awesome. This is great. I love this. Th- these are weeks I live for. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> See, you ain't no good. Be flicking your baby. You, you ain't no good. <laughs> we only got one, two, three, four, five. I was going to say, we only have a few. Seven. So half, eight, half, the, half games? the games are different. Boy. Only way, only way it won't be a lot of fun is we split those eight. Yeah. I need to go eight. Well, there's a, there's a lot of half points in there. So. Yeah. I need to go. I'm going to have to check those two because the ones I printed out this morning missed a couple of the halves. So I wrote those two in there. But, yeah. I, I, yeah. I could, you good? I could easily go 13 and three this week. Yeah, you could. I could. Is what it is. I mean, we'll I can go three and thirteen we'll as well. See, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I can go three and thirteen as well. Do you have anything else? No. Uh, outside of just talking shit about your picks, I'm, re- I'm not talking about my fantasy football team. Well, it's, that it's, too. it's so good. That too. I mean, now Corey on deck. He ain't speaking to me. We got the group text. He only responding to you. I said, "Oh, <laughs> man, I get it. Nah, I get it. He know what's coming. <laughs> I get it." Oh, uh, so yeah. I'll well, beat that ass. But we'll be talking again. We'll be talking again. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't have anything else, uh, you can talk some more shit for another five minutes. No, or I you think good? I'm cool. All right. Well, for Lou, I'm Armando, <laughs> thanks for coming and watching Gas Up to Pacer. And you'll see us next with our weekly awards. <laughs>